What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? It's movie review time. Where y'all at? Where you at? There you go. There you go. There you go. Peanut butter jelly. Movie review time. It don't flow as well, does it? It don't flow as well with the peanut butter jellies. <laughs> so, I just got back from seeing Godzilla. Now, let me tell you something first. I am a Godzilla. This is like a Godzilla movie review for dummies who don't know, as dummies as far as who don't know their Godzilla uh, backgrounds. I have never been like a fan of Godzilla. I've never wanted to watch the other Godzilla movies, but I've been watching these trailers uh, for this Godzilla King and the Monster, and more and more trailers I watch, the more and more interested I am. So I was like, I want to go see this one. Went and seen it this morning, and let me tell you, I loved it. I loved it. Still, I have not seen the other Godzillas. I've still not seen any of them. But I'm going to tell you, start off, that... I feel like you don't even need to. I mean, there was a little, a little bit. I was like, okay, like confused. But it, it starts off kind of like a flashback. You see the family. There's the husband, wife, daughter, a little girl, and boy. And they have a flashback that it was from what 2014 when that movie came out, The Last Godzilla, right? So it was San Francisco and the, the dad's running around looking for a son. His son's missing. So you figure out like the, the son died and Godzilla uh, and, and Godzilla's like stomping on San, San Francisco, stomping and stuff. So you figure he died in whatever wreckage Godzilla did up in San Francisco. Then you see the daughter, the girl from the girl from Stranger Things, Eleven. She's the daughter in it, and you see her, and you're like, "Oh, that's the daughter of the guy," because the the brother died, and she's with her mom, and she was like, so already, and she was like emailing with her dad. So you figure out they separated now. They separated, and she even like typed her dad like, "You know, I'm worried about mom." So you're like, "Oh, what's going on with the mom?" right? Something's happening. She's worried. She's with her mom. And uh, then you see, then you see, they ain't like up in the U.S. or nothing like San Francisco. They ain't in San Francisco. They ain't even in the same, they're the same country. They in China. They in China. And the right, the scene right after that, she's got this box and they going to get like one of these monsters out. Or the monsters about to hatch or whatever. And it, and then it hatched. Like the daughter's there. It hatched. The thing started. And it, looked, it was like in a cocoon looking thing. So you're like, oh, this is the butterfly one. This is the Mothra. See, I knew that much. This is the Mothra in its cocoon thing. But it started like attacking people and all. And then the, and then the mom, the one, you know, the one they worried about, she goes running into this capsule. And she's like, Mothra. And she goes running in opens up this thing and does all this stuff and frequencies and, blah, 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 and it starts making a noise and then the thing calmed down. So whatever noise her box had made the thing calm down. Like it's like it's speaking. Her box thing is like speaking to the monsters. And then the daughter comes walking in and they're both like, oh, like looking at it and, and like, oh, like, I don't know. She like reached out. I don't remember if she had touched it or not. Then what happens? Storming in the back, some bad guys come in with the guns killing up everybody. And you're like, oh my gosh, they they then they bring they get the mom and the daughter and get the box, and you're like, oh they what are they doing? These are bad guys. And the head bad guy was the the Lannister dad from Game of Thrones. That's the that's the head guy. Right? That's the head guy. And he and they go off with him. They go off with him. He's got him. You're like, oh my goodness. And then the dad's back. He's like doing sounds and of lions and and all that kind of stuff, recording it because they're all about these sounds. I guess these people are about sounds and and sounds of animals, and that's like their specialty, knowing these animals and the sounds. Well, so the dad's there, and then they came, 
and uh, they get the dad and they're like, they've been kidnapped. Where, where are they going? Right? Not only that, not only they finally kidnapped, they said they that she was kidnapped from this. She was letting the Mothra out. She was letting the thing out. So they're like, what is she doing there? The dad didn't even know they was up in there. Right? So what they did was like, they took them. And this is like the government. The government, one of the guy, I guess the, uh, the one of the guys was from the first movie. He's like a Godzilla fan. He's always thought Godzilla's like their friends. Even he was speaking him. And then they got the guy from Silicon Valley. Like they were speaking at the beginning, like, what are you going to make these like our pets? And then that guy was like, no, we're theirs. Like he was the one who said that, the Asian guy. So they bring him, they're like to a capsule because this whole time they think Godzilla's just missing. But no, these army men, the government knows where these the, the Godzilla is. And they bring him to this place and they were studying Godzilla up in this place. But then they're up in there and all of a sudden they Godzilla's like coming closer than ever to where they at and doing these strange things. And they're like, what's he doing? He's giving off lights and things like alphas. And, and then he takes off and they're like, we got to follow him. He takes off to like Antarctica, which they tell him Antarctica is where this monster zero is. And they got 17 of these monsters around the world. They also already know we got Godzilla, the Mothra, the zero up in Antarctica. All around the world these are. And then who's up in Antarctica but the bad guys that got, got the, the, the mom and, and Eleven, the daughter, and they brought her to Antarctica. And they they got this monster zero and they ain't trying to get it out. It's in this block of ice. And they're putting things in it and doing stuff to try to get it out. Because I guess they wanted the mom there with the, the machine and the noise. Right? Then here comes the army because they found Godzilla. And, and they come upon, they see that these bad guys are up in this, this place, this, trying to get the ground zero. And they rush in there and they're fighting and stuff. Then, then the dad, he see, cause he's like, I want to get my daughter. Then he runs in. He sees the mom and the daughter and the bad guys. And he's like, Maddie, that's the daughter's name, 11. Come here, come here. And she's starting to go and the mom's like, no. And she's like, what does the mom do with it? Because they got they got the blaster things in in the zero. In the in the monster zero. They got the blaster things in there. And she tells him, run. She grabs the thing and sets off the th the stuff and explodes and the monster zero comes out. So you I'm like, so she is working with these bad guys. She's working with those bad guys to get these monsters out. You don't know why. Well, you find out why. Because she thinks they're going to bring order to stuff and this and the planets. Where we are, we're polluting. A, I mean, they bring it back to real time. They're like, we're polluting a planet. We're killing a planet. Yeah. Humans. These titans need to be like let loose to, to get order again in our planet and stop killing it. This is to save the planet and all this stuff. So she's working with these guys to let these monsters out because she thinks this is what they need to do to save the, pa the planet. But then they don't, they don't, they don't realize this monster zero with the three heads, he ain't nothing to play around. He ain't like the regular Titans. He's like some alien Titan and he's like Godzilla's mortal enemy. So here comes Godzilla, like that thing starts attacking. It starts attacking. And then here comes Godzilla because he was already on his way there because he knew that thing was being let out and he's on the way and they start fighting. Godzilla done bit hit one of the heads off. <laughs> They got three heads he bent. So he's going around with the one head like this. Then it takes off and starts going to Mexico where another one of these Rodan, Rodan, Rodan is. And that's the volcano one. It's like in a volcano. So it starts heading that way. They see us heading that way. We're like, we got to go there. Godzilla's heading that way. Ro the Rodan comes out the volcano when they get there. Oh, that thing starts attacking too. Like all these monsters are out attacking. Like, you know, so, but who's like the rodent out? Her. 
the mom with the machine doing her little frequencies and noises and she released the rodent. Oh yeah. So that's where they was headed and then here comes Godzilla right behind them and the three headed only has got one of the heads like this. This is nothing. So it's got missing one of the heads, but then it like grows that extra head. Like, like you know when they get the the one, the things like plants and they get the part cut off and it grows. Like this grew its head back. It regenerated one of its heads. So this thing is powerful. Like it's, it's, it, him and Godzilla are like this. Then the army thinks they're going to step in and kill the thing. And they send this bomb down where they fight and where Godzilla and this three-headed thing is fighting by Mexico. Rodin's done on the loose. The volcano one's on them. And they're going to send this bomb up in there. Going to kill them. Oh, that, you think that's going to kill them? The, the three-headed thing takes off. It hurts Godzilla. It starts losing. They think Godzilla's dead. Then the three-headed thing is going to go on top of the the, the volcano and start uh, making his noises and stuff. And it releases all of the titans everywhere. It's done. It's attacking all the places they at. It's releasing them all. It's like the head. It's like the head monster right now. Cause there's Godzilla's. You don't know what's happened to him. So they, I'm telling you. Then they gotta do this mission to go save Godzilla. And then they, then like, and it's a big mission. Cause they, I mean, they're like, well, we can save him. He's radiation. Cause that's like radiation that radiates, and, and he does all like that. And, and then the, the mom, she's like, I wasn't asking for all this. I just wanted to I do this. And but he's releasing them all. And she's mad. This ain't just, you know, order. This is extinction. And she's like regretting what she's doing. And they up in this bunker in Boston. And then they go. And then the, and the dad... And then the other ones who was like the Godzilla, who like Godzilla and all that, they go and try to save Godzilla because that's the only thing that's going to save them from the three-headed thing. And I don't want to give y'all too much. I already gave y'all. <laughs> I don't want to give all the secrets. I don't want to give all the secrets. But I'm just going to say this ending. You know what? Like for not a Godzilla fan, I wasn't lost. I enjoyed it. I liked it. The fighting scenes with the monsters, hello, and they're beautiful. The monster comes out, and it's wet. Y'all saw that in the tree, and the wings are lighting up. And then even with the Godzilla and radiating in the and the radiate, and just them fighting, it's it's awesome. I love the fight scenes. The fight scenes are awesome. The story was awesome. I was into it the whole time. It was like two hours long, maybe a little more. wasn't wasn't like bored. wasn't I was into it. For not even being a Godzilla fan, I I liked it. I liked it. I even told, turned my husband, I'm like, I want to go back now and watch that one from 2014. Like, this is making me want to watch that. I give it a four out of five. Four out of five. I enjoyed it. And this is coming from a Godzilla, like, dummy. <laughs> he knows nothing about Godzilla. I know, I know he's a monster. They call him the king of the monsters and stuff and all that. But this is coming from, so yeah, the way it ended was good. Pretty awesome. I heard like the Godzilla fans up in there, they were, woo, like they loved it. So for big Godzilla fans, you know, you're going to love it. I just gave it four to five because probably my own, this is like, I'm just not that. Like, I liked this movie, but I'm not, like, a Godzilla fan. And it wouldn't be, like, my first thing to go watch if I wasn't into these trailers so much. But this got me into it. It got me into it. The fight scenes were awesome. Some stuff you're just like, uh, oh, that's a little predictable, you know? I was like, oh, yeah, you know that was going to happen. But I enjoyed it, y'all. So, if you want to check out Godzilla, I didn't give too many spoilers for you. <laughs> Go see it. If you're a Godzilla fan, you're you're gonna love it. You're not gonna be disappointed. You're gonna love it. If you're not a Godzilla fan, you're still gonna enjoy it. I did. Till next time.